Good evening and welcome to our Sunday evening traditional service. We're going to start off with a great old hymn, Jesus Shall Reign, number 587. Number 587, we want to thank Pauline for playing for us again tonight. You'll turn in your hymnal to find number 587. situation right now she's been going through this for three years and there's a scenario coming up now that she may have the cancer may have spread to her colon which is my wife's mother which is sitting right next to me okay all so right I just want to keep her in prayer and, you know. okay very good we'll do that Mary uh, I have a couple we just found out a friend of ours his wife passed away during the night and um, just prayers for him. His name is Richard Kromeyer. And also, uh, travel mercies for my daughter and son-in-law who's heading up to New York. Not a good time to be going to New York. Oh, no. I know. I know. That's why I'm bringing it up. Um, hmm. Just overnight. They're going up and coming back tomorrow. Hopefully, they miss the they're fly, uh, traveling from Philly. They're driving. And also... Salvation for you know who? Yes, all right. For Todd. For Todd. For Todd. Praise I love to uh, persevere in the prayers for Todd. I love to send pictures to my brother in law who lives in Rhode Island when I'm going out to play golf and I see it's snowing. <laughs> I said, Do you think I should go out today, Peter? Or <laughs> then we also have a. Yes, Doris. Okay, so Mariah's in Ireland. Is that just pleasure or mission? Or? This is a week of vacation, but she's put in her application to work there, to teach there huh. next year. For the well, she looks Irish, I tell you. She could be Irish. Yeah, with well, that red hair. Well, Your red hair and freckles, yeah, she could be qualified as Irish. Yeah. Well, you might be Irish, yeah. too. <laughs> okay, all right. And, uh, 
I'm sorry, Pauline, excuse me. Um, I would like to raise Dawn. Dawn, yes. Um, I have a stint in the hospital. She's going through a little bout with whatever it is that ails her. Really? Um, yeah. And then um, I would like prayer for my cousin. Um, she's at home in hospice. She's got some illness one night and turned out it's some kind of pancreatic cancer. Mm. Yes, Vivian. Uh, let's continue to pray for uh, Pastor Rick and uh, for uh, Greg Moore, who is, uh, as far as I know, still at Mercy. Uh, and pray that if transfer is needed, that that will be able to take place. Okay. Yes, sir, Dr. Green. I have a praise. Uh, we've been praying for my friend Chuck, Chuck Hood. We have. Who, uh, Amen. Wonderful. What is, um, I'm sorry, your, your mother-in-law's Bridget. name? What is Bridget? it? Bridget. Bridget. By the way, Tom, uh, yes. it's appropriate now, I think. This fine couple with their son were involved in recovery when Armando was leading here in our church. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I knew when he came in, I knew it, but I didn't remember. And uh, he wants to get back in church, back with us. And uh, having fun. Not well, I tell you what, he uh, he has quite a testimony. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, man, do I remember it? I remember it well. We have a good group on Friday nights at uh, at a live again. Pastor Kerry goes there, and so does Doris, and uh, and and your wife can come and. Child what time is the service? Day. It's at seven o'clock in the library. Well, you'd love a, it, man. You, you'd Cutler. really enjoy it. Six o'clock. It's, it's open. It's, on, it's over at Old Cutler. It's over. It's over at Old Cutler Presbyterian. It's at Old Cutler on Friday nights. Thank you. Armando's my son-in-law. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a proud. And what's, your name? what's your name? Reuben. Reuben. Okay. He'll remember me if you say my name. You will, huh? Yeah, I believe you will. You're memorable. I believe so. Okay. Pastor Kerry, hope for Todd. Pastor Kerry remembers. He was working at the grocery store and he came in with Ruben a big old. Ruben used to be Todd. <laughs> one of them was she. Well, do we have any other prayer requests? A praise. My son, Dr. Walker. Oh, excellent. What's his name? What is it? Camille. Camille. Yeah. I'm going to try and get names right here tonight, so I apologize. The Lord used his accident for good because it slowed him up a little bit. It slowed him up. <laughs> he was going too fast, you know, but it slowed him up. I want to apologize ahead of time because I, 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 every time I try, I generally don't try and include names because I will invariably leave one out and, and Someone gets insulted, but I'm going to try tonight, so apologize Amen. if I don't get them right. Because God knows the exactly. prayer request well before. Is there any, any other thing else before we go to the Lord? Okay, let's try and go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening celebrating the fact that we are able to join together in worship and freedom. And we pray for all of those Christians all over this world who are not able to do this. And we uh, lift them up and ask for your protection wherever they may be tonight. And we have a number of prayer requests lifted up and a number of praises. And Russell wants to start off by praising you for granting him the opportunity to travel and the trip he was made and presenting his message uh, to the Canadians that he was able to speak to. And uh, he's very happy about the fact that he was able to carry that word on his uh, travels and he had a safe return from his travel. We have uh, Bridget being paid for tonight who, uh, has uh, considerable medical problems, yes. and we lift her up and uh, pray for her that above everything else that your will be done. We know some uh, illnesses are not able to be recovered from, but we pray that she's saved, and uh, we lift her up to you, and uh, and we pray that, as, and once again, that as your will will be done. Uh, 
We pray for those who have family members who have lost family members recently. We know what a, a difficult time that can be, uh, even though they may have been anticipated their demise uh, in advance or it may have been sudden. We know that no one can live forever, and it's uh, part of God's plan that, that uh, death comes as part of life. And we, we do ask for comfort for those families who are suffering grief. We ask for uh, salvation for uh, our, uh, once again, prayed for many times, Todd, yes, and we asked for the travel of uh, Mary and uh, Ron's family, who will be traveling to New York. We asked for safe travel as they go and they return to us. And we particularly uh, asked for uh, uh, travel mercies for uh, Mariah, who is in Ireland, and uh, Keith, who's in China, and we, we pray for Craig wherever he may be, and yes, uh, pray that... Uh, his uh, situation is calm and that uh, he's uh, being looked after. We, we pray for him constantly. We also want to lift up Don, who is experiencing some medical problems this yes. evening. And she's such a great supporter of us and such a uh, helpful singer to me. And we do lift her up and pray for her recovery from her medical problems. And we particularly want to lift up Rick Blackwood as uh, being our senior minister and the undergoing the cancer treatment that he is. Uh, we pray for him diligently. and. Uh, lift him up and uh, uh, we, we know he's saved and we know that uh, he's uh, been chosen by you to bring uh, words to us and we want to ask for your protection of him and yes, we yes. continue to pray for Greg Moore who was uh, a victim oh, of a serious yes. accident of now over a year ago who has uh, never regained consciousness and he has yes, been in, in and out of coma and he's currently in uh, Mercy Hospital as I understand and has been moved here from Atlanta and we do continue to pray for John and Kelly as they tend to him as best they can and the great, great difficulties that are involved and, and such a monumental task. Oh, and God. we, um, oh, I'm looking at my notes and thank goodness that you helped remind me of the praise that we are celebrating the recovery of Chuck Hood who has been prayed for so many times, a friend of Dr. Green's who has received a heart transplant. Yes. And, um, we are, we're just so grateful that, that he is able to be recovered, but we pray for the family, of whoever lost a loved one who was able to um, have to contribute such a, a, a wonderful blessing to Chuck. And at the same time, we want to pray for my great nephew uh, who is uh, on the list for a heart transplant. He's only six weeks old, but uh, mm. he's a small, tiny infant, but uh, oh. very unfortunately, some other infant has to pass away for him to be able to receive a heart, but we do lift him up. And um, we lift up, I think it's Camille, it's, uh, Pauline's son, uh, who has uh, been in a serious accident, but who is on his road to recovery. And we do lift him up and pray for him. And uh, we ask a blessing on Pauline as she cares for him. And there are so many things we ask of you tonight, but above everything else, we pray that it's your will will be done in our lives and our loved ones and friends. And we ask this in your Precious holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I think I got them all in there. I think I'm looking at my notes sometimes. Saying, what in the it's world good. is that? I, <laughs> this one, I'm looking at heart Chuck Hood. Oh, Chuck Hood and his heart. That's what it was. <laughs> all right. We're going to continue our singing. There's something about that. Well, is that the right song? No. Uh, no, we, we skipped 550. I'd rather have Jesus is the next song. I'd rather have Jesus number 550. I'd rather have Jesus in silver or gold. I'd rather be his in the riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus in houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nailed, scarred hand than to be the king of vast domain, army held in sin's way. 
There's something about that name. Pauline's going to play through it a couple of times as we greet our neighbors this evening and say how happy you are to see them. And then we'll sing it at the end.
I tell you, my voice might make it through the end of this service. I'm not even Great song. getting close here. I don't know. It may have to be. I remember when that song came out. I was in Denver. Boy, I'll never forget that. Well, you were in Denver in 1851? No, but I remember when we started singing it. When Baptist started singing it. We started singing it in the 70s when we had the, the moving of the Holy Spirit. You remember back called the Confusion? That was before uh, I was born. Convention divided. Terry. You remember that? That was before I was born. Well, I'll forgive you if you get those lights fixed before next Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best, Gary. <laughs> What year was that, the convention divided? Well, it was 70. I was born in there. I was there. Yeah, you were alive. Yeah. Uh, we're from there from 67 to 77. What year was it, Darf? 75? When we had the meeting in Dallas, we had 30, 35,000 Southern Baptists showed up in Dallas. That was a crowd. Which was three times what we ever have at a convention. Well, you know, they say that. Dallas is the buckle of the Bible Belt. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'll tell you what. We divided over conservatives and liberals. That's really yeah, what it was. Yeah. Liberal yeah. professors, liberal theology. Well, what I, was going, What's going on in our nation right now was going along, going in Southern Baptist life back when I was pastor in Denver, Colorado. All right, our next hymn is going to be number 600, More About Jesus, number 600. We're going to do all four verses of this, 600. Yielding allegiance, I have 
hearted and free. This is a pathway, a blessing for me. Oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee. Now in Thy atonement, did give myself for Thee. I owe no other master, my heart shall be Thy throne. My life I live, it's for to live, oh Christ, for Thee alone. Living for Jesus, who died in my place, bearing on Calvary my sin and disgrace. Such love constrains me to answer His call, follow His leading, and give Him my all. Oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee. Now in my atonement, He's given myself for me. I owe no other master, my heart shall be Thy throne. My life I give its forth to live, O oh, Christ, for Thee alone. Living for Jesus, My dearest treasure, the light of his smile, seeking the lost ones he died to redeem, bringing the weary to find rest in him. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee. Now in thine atonement, didst give thyself for me. I owe no other master, my heart shall be thy throne, my life I give henceforth to live, O oh, Christ for thee alone. Amen. Good. Those who are asked to help with the offering, please come forward. I'll have a word of prayer for our offering and then we will hear our message this evening. Heavenly Father, we ask these bless your blessings on these tithes and offerings as they are brought this evening that they go to assist the missions you have asked us to undertake on your behalf. And we ask you to bless those who are sent and are good, go in our place. And we ask that your uh, tender mercies be extended to all those that they reach out to. And we ask this in your precious holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.